I am beyond pissed at you, drag. And I know you're doing this for drama because that's what you like to do. You like to stir, stir up drama and then pretend that you're some amazing intellectual, right? Well, rumor has it, a little birdie told me that you're talking about crap about me and Rev and my husband and a little love triangle we were having. Um, let me get some things clear. There was no love triangle between me and Rev News. Absolutely none. What happened is me and Rev were brothers and sisters in Christ. My husband ended up getting really jealous about it. Well, he's not really my husband anymore, now is he? To top that off, to top that off, Mr. Dragnaught, since you want to be an ass, there's nothing, absolutely, and I, I, I will say this equivalently, there is nothing going on between me and Rev News because of so many things that have happened. Our relationship, our friendship is vitally pretty much over at this point. And, um, I don't feel too bad about it, to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, I've lost all interest in him through this whole thing, so it really doesn't really matter anymore. But you trying to talk that crap is just ridiculous. Thank you. Anything else? waiting for my food. You what? Alright. So anyway, now that I'm pulled ahead, waiting for my food. That's one thing I hate about Culver's. Is you always have to wait for food. Mm. But that is delicious. It's a brownie caramel concrete mixer. And I'm going to eat it while I'm waiting for food. Because that's what fat girls do when they're depressed, is they eat. Mm -hmm. So anyway, drag, babe. Okay. So, there was no love triangle between me and Rev while I was with my husband. There was none. All there was, was love between a brother and sister in Christ. And then after I got divorced, I got drunk one night and he was drunk one night and one thing happened over the phone to another. And that's what happened. And it happened for a couple weeks and then it stopped because he's an asshole. So if you really want to know the truth, that's the truth that happened. And frankly, I don't care anymore. Um, you know, I got my fucking feelings played for, and, um, bravo on the fucking player, may I say. Bravo on that. And, frankly, it's pretty much turned me off to all men. All men. Completely turned off from all men. Really don't really want a man, to tell you the truth. What's the point of wanting a man, drag? What is the point? You know, since you want to go and spread rumors even further about this stuff, when nothing is happening at all, I just want to get the fuck out of my state. Does that make any sense? And I want to live in a place where it's cheap rent and everything. <laughs> I could care less about what happens to Jason at this point. I really could care less at this point. Because he's hurt me really bad and he's given me nothing but mixed signals. For, I guess now, a couple months, just mixed fucking signals. And I'm tired of fucking mixed signals. I'm tired of my heart being played with. I'm tired of that shit. I deserve a lot better than being played with by men. So, frankly, I'm not interested. I am not interested. At all. Thank you. Because, you know, there comes a point to me, when it comes to love... I think this is for me. Thank you. Yes. Let me see. Yes, that is me. Thank you. Do you have a number? No, well, they didn't give me a number. Okay. All right, thank you. But anyway, there comes a point to me, 
in my life after being played for and had my heart played with so many times where I lose complete interest in the dude. Um, there was this one guy, and I'll, I'll go say his name was Greg. And um, I really liked this guy, you know? Of course, me and Greg, we were actually intimate with each other. Um, I'm not going to go into the fine nitty detail details of it, but we were intimate with each other. And this is before I came to Chris, right? This is right before I went to Chris. Me and Chris knew each other. We were talking on the phone at the time. But no, I had a thing for this guy named Greg, right? So he just left me on a string and I kept waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then he got to the point where, you know what, dude, I'm losing all interest in you because I'm really tired. Looks like someone got in an accident. Thank God it's not me. But it got to the point where I really got tired of waiting for this guy. Waiting for him to just show that he was a man. Greg never showed that he was a man, by the way. He just left me on a string, you know? So I lost interest in him, and that's pretty much what happened with Rev News, is I lost interest in him. Because there's only so much I can handle with men. There's only so much I can take and only so much of this teasing back and forth thing I can handle. I don't want that. If a man wants me, he better be sure as hell that he wants me instead of playing me like a fiddle because I ain't no damn fiddle. I'm not a fiddle. I'm a heart. I need to be stroked and loved. I need attention, okay? This girl is the type of girl that needs attention, not not to be played with little by little by little all the fucking time. I don't think so. That's not me. That'll never be me. They need to find a different person. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that shit, so you breeding that shit up is kind of irrelevant at this point because I felt like this for about, uh, about a week and a half now pretty much giving up on it all, you know, giving up on an idea that maybe he'll come to terms, maybe he wouldn't be as shy as he is, maybe, just maybe, no, no, I, I don't know what his intention was, maybe he wanted to learn some things from a woman, I don't know, but, um, yeah, that's, that's done and over with, I'm no longer interested in that, I feel like I was frankly lied to by him and played with. You know, he could try to explain things differently to me, but, you know, like the cowardly men that I'm usually attracted to, they run away and don't say anything back. So, fuck that shit. I'm... <laughs> uh, no. I don't need that. What I do need is a real man. A man that knows what he wants and will get what he wants. That's what I need. I need a real man fake man, not a man who's a boy child. And unfortunately, a lot of men that I deal with are boy ch childs. They just want to uh, play the game, but they don't really want to seal the deal. So, fuck that shit. I'm not into that. Nope. No thank you. No siree. You can go collect your uh, whatever you want to collect, but um, I'm not into that, you know? You know, if you show interest in me, just show interest in me, not freaking play my heart and then be like, oops, I'm out. Nope. 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 I work way too hard to deal with that shit. Way too hard. You know? And I work my butt off. And I'm just going to focus on Jesus Christ. I ain't going to focus on no Dane man. What's the point? It's not like they respect me. It's not like they actually care anything about me or my feelings or how I feel about shit. You know, Jesus does, but he used that as an opportunity to go and go against my Lord. So, so, you know, you really can't go against my Lord. 
really can't because he won't win in the end. In the end, he's going to uh, show his power to you and uh, take you apart little by little until you submit. That's how he works. That's how he always works. That's how he'll always work. And there's nothing you can do about it. So, you know, drag, you want to go and try to pick on me, go ahead. Go ahead and try to pick on me, but you ain't going to win. Because I'm smarter than you. And, um, you know, frankly, I know more than you about things. And I know you, you, you're laughing right now saying, oh, you know more about me. I only give out the information that I want people to know. I don't give out my whole being because I don't believe in bragging who I am, frankly. You know, I could run loops about you, boy. So you can continue on being an ass and, like, telling rumors about things that are not true. Yeah, I had feelings for revenue. It's big whoopie do. I had feelings for a lot of people in life, you know. A lot of people in life I've had feelings for. But they always end up disappointing me in the end. So what's the point? <laughs> like, seriously, what's the point? of wanting to be in a relationship with someone when you know they're just going to end up disappointing you in the end and ripping your heart out at the seams. You know, he took a vulnerable woman in a vulnerable position, he got what he wanted, and he left. Just like any other fucking man. That's what they do. You know, they don't care about the woman. They don't really care about you know, trying to heal the woman's heart. No, they, they only care about taking a woman apart and getting what they want out of the situation. Well, he got what he wanted. I hope he's happy and, you know, whatever. But see, you, you want to take, a, you want to take advantage of uh, the situation right now, drag. And, you know, seriously, I'm not going to let you take advantage of this, like, very sensitive situation with me, because it is very sensitive to me, you know, because it is my feelings, it is my heart that just has been crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and crying over this stuff, you know, because I never intended Chris to get as jealous as he did over me talking to Rev News about Jesus. You know, if, you know, I never intended Chris to go out and cheat on me either. I never intended any of this shit, but they continue to do that shit because men are fucking dogs. Men like taking advantage of women like you are, drag. See, like you, drag, you, you want to take advantage of this situation. You're no better than him. You're just another dog ass man trying to take advantage of a woman who's in a very very, very vulnerable state, my God. So, you know, you can go be play dick all you want. You know, I've been nothing but nice to you, but now you're going to talk about me behind my back, and then you call me at my work trying to, you know, why? Why? Why are you calling me at work? <laughs> Did you think I was going to drop what I was doing and, you know, talk to you? I don't think so. You know, I actually have a job you know, a job, you know, J-O-B, you know, something that people do in order to support themselves, you know, you don't, you've been living off your wife, going to school for so many years, I mean, now you can't even find a job in your field, so, <laughs> on you, you know, trying to be like, I'm an intellectual, I'm gonna tutor people, ooh, big whoopie do. I actually have a job where I actually take care of people, where I actually make a difference in someone's life. You, on the other hand, you'd rather go talk crap about people over and over and over again. Because that's what shit people like you do, is you go and talk about shit behind people's back. You know, when it has nothing to do with you, you know, I, I leave shit on my channel, you know, I don't expect people to go out of their way to 
talk shit about me, okay? If you want to get actual information, you might as well go to the source. Intellectual like you would know that you go to the source of information. You know, I'm just saying. So, go to the source, you know. I thought you would know that, you know, instead of, you know, <laughs> making shit up that's not true. But I don't care anymore. <laughs> My life's already fucked up as it is, already freaking ruined as it is. And, uh, you know, I'm in a very thin, thin, thin state of just blowing up on everyone, so... You know, you picked a really fine time, Drag, to start crap with me. It's fine time. You know, and I'm just getting this from little birdies telling me this stuff. So I don't really know what was said other than, you know, these details. But, dude, you need to stop. You need to shut your mouth and uh, don't piss me off. You really don't want to piss me off because I can take a man down like I really can, so don't start with me. And why are you stopping? The deer already crossed the street. Come on. Whatever. But anyway, Dragnaut, don't start shit with me. I can't take you down. I can. Because, see... I think you started crap with me because I called you out because I said that the only, and I do mean the only time you actually have anything relative to say is when it's about G-Man. That's what I think. I think the only thing you have to say when it's relative is when it's about G-Man. And, and, and you know what? I, I know something a little bit about him. He's not going to take that crap either. He's not. You know, he's a lot better of a person that you are, by the way. I'm just saying. And, uh, you know, the only time he ever gets round up with people is when people start crap with him. It's not the other way around. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the games that you men like to throw at people. You know, you need to stop throwing games at women and treating them like shit, you know? I'm tired of it, you know, I don't need it anymore, I don't need it anymore, I really don't, you know, I'm trying my best in my life, my very best, giving my whole all in my life, doing the best I can, you know, and I think I'm doing pretty damn good all by myself, because I don't need a man to make me feel better about who I am as a person. All I need is Jesus. Jesus will help me, you know? So, just keep talking crap, Drag. Just keep talking crap, you know? That's what you do, you know? You're, you're part of the talking shit Tuesday, you know? You like to talk crap about people. Saying anything relative or actually teaching people of what you actually know from school and what you learned from college. Oh no, that's just too boring. Let's just go and talk about other people and what they're doing and make fun of them and act like a middle schooler. That's what you do. You act like a middle schooler. And I am so tired of this bullshit drama. You know, I'm so tired of it, you know tired of it. And I'm tired of men playing me for a fool and playing me as a fiddle. I can do whatever I want in my life. I can say whatever I want and there's nothing any of you guys can say. There's nothing you guys can say that will make me stop doing what I'm doing because I'm just going to continue being me and doing me, you know, I, I got my friends out there. I got the people who actually care about me, who actually aren't there for me. You know, the people who aren't there for me, they can go, you know, eat shit. You know, I don't, I don't care anymore. You know, I'm to the point where I'm, I'm done. I'm done being played with, you know. I'm done. 
it's enough. It's enough. You know, it's enough. You know, so drag. I I, I want to thank, by the way, little birdie. You know who you are. I want to thank you for letting me know what was going on, by the way, because I really don't watch Dragnaut's channel, because frankly, you're very boring when uh, you're not talking about G-Man, and everyone knows that. <laughs> everyone knows that. And the same with Talking Shit Tuesday. You guys are so boring without talking about G-Man. Because you need Christians in order to feed off them. I, I do believe, by the way, J.D. Kane, you did tell G-Man that when you had your little meeting with each other in New York. You feed off Christians. That's, that's, in all honesty, I find that actually a disgusting thing that you can do as a human being. Is feed off an individual. You know. I'd never feed off an individual like that. What was that? <laughs> she reminds me of my ex with all the Jesus talk, but she reminds me of me as well. She got used like I have been used, and she stays upset about it like I do. Yeah. Yeah. I am upset about it, and I can be upset about it, and any, any, any real human being would truthfully be upset with being used by people over and over and over and over and over again, because it's not right, it's not fair, and it sucks to feel that way. It sucks to feel so incredibly empty in your life, and not have that person to say, I love you. It sucks. It sucks. It really does. Because I deserve better. And I want better than that. I want someone to actually love me for me. Not, not love me for my body or my looks or anything. I want someone to actually genuinely love me. Is that ever going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to get going. I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to get myself comfortable. And then I'm going to read the Bible. And then that's all I'm going to be doing. And then I'm going to be sleeping in because it is my Friday. And I'm going to sleep my life away. Because frankly, I know the people who said they would be there for me aren't really there for me. They're really just phony. And I'm tired of phoniness. You know, if you want me, say you really want me and actually mean it. Not play me and then use the excuse, I was trying to help her and comfort her. Yeah, you comfort me by using me? You must think I'm stupid. I'm not stupid at all. <laughs> I'm very smart. <laughs> More smarter than most people. But I only give you information that you only want to know. Anyway. Peace and Maranatha. Drag, don't start anything else with me. I have my people. I have my people.